Hello YouTube, it's time for another Pocket Dump Deconstruction. This is Keith Kevin Ken. I'm Kevin from Keith Kevin Ken. And just 10 minutes ago, I took this picture and posted it on Instagram. Our account is at Keith Kevin Ken. And now I've turned my phone into a video camera and we are doing the deconstruction for you guys. So here we go. Um, oh, it's a Cohiba. <laughs> it's a Siglo 4. I'll tell you, the Siglo 6 is getting a lot of use, and I'm having trouble even finding some to buy. But this is the Cuban uh, cigar Cohiba. It's the Siglo 4, a nice, mild Cuban cigar. Um, let's see, what else we have? Oh, yeah. One of my regular uh, watches, it's uh, it's the Monaco from Hewer. I love Hewer and Tags. Uh, this is a really nice chronograph, nice thick manly watch. Uh, most of my uh, daily rotation watches are just like this one, uh, so I really love that. Um, let's see what else we have. The coin is a 2000 uh, Chinese lunar dragon coin. Let me see if I can put some shade on it. Uh, let's see, so you can see it. You see that? It's a proof coin and that's why I have to cover it up so you can kind of get a look at it. Um, that's the coin. And uh, let's see what else we have. Um, obviously, I have my uh, uh, nice Mont Blanc uh, thin wallet. I have my coach notepad, and now let's talk about the knives. This is one of my favorite knives. Um, not only is it beautiful, but it's an easy, easy carry for a big knife. This is the Chokwa, or Chokwe, C-H-O-W-E, um, from Spydeco. It's part of the Spydeco Ethnic Series of knives where Spydeco takes a look at knives from around the world, traditional knives used for centuries around the world and then they get uh, a designer to design it for them and they bring it out. It is one of the best uh, series of knives in the, uh, I, I think in the world. It's just great because you get to hold something that has so much tradition but it's so modern because of uh, what Spydeco does. So let's talk about this knife. Uh, it, it, it is a traditional knife from Zimbabwe. Um, <laughs> it, is, it is usually um, from Zimbabwe a fixed blade knife. A lot of these eth ethnic series knives are because again, they are older knives. Um, Spydeco has really adapted it for this great folder. Uh, the handle is G10 with these wonderful, and this is part of the uh, original detail, the wonderful skeletized, I don't know what you call it, the holes uh, in the show side that are really wonderful. It really helps to lighten this up. There's tie liners that are heavily skeletonized too. So I'm telling you that this big knife is super, super light, really nice to carry, has that reed integral uh, frame lock, uh, has the traditional Spydeco um, uh, clip. I would have preferred the Spydeco wire clip on, on this. Now this is a knife that's two or three years old. This is the traditional clip, and for a big knife with all this titanium, you would, especially the titanium back, you would kind of expect them to do the traditional, but because it's so light, it would have been nice to have that wonderful wire deep carry uh, clip for this. But anyway, it's a wonderful knife. Um, good blade steel, too. S30V. So they didn't skimp on the blades. Um, the original knife that's a fixed blade has these holes in the handle so that they could attach it to a longer pole, longer stick, to use it as a spear. But man, if you have not, if you are a Spydeco person, if you're just a knife lover and you like bigger knives but you want them thin but also look classy, look at the Chokwe. 
Um, it is a really nice knife uh, from Spyderco. S30V uh, steel as well, but so light, so light. My uh, medium carry is becoming one of my favorite knives. Uh, this one, the uh, Sabenza 21, plain Jane handle with this wonderful ladder Damascus. I'll tell you, this knife and its bigger brother is becoming a favorite of mine. I just like, at uh, first, you can tell that I'm starting to fall in love with Damascus, but I just love that sturdy build uh, of a Chris Reeve Sabenza, but also that classiness. And especially when you get to a small Sabenza, this really, really, really gets as close to the line of a gentleman folder and a work knife as you could ever imagine. And by the way, that combination is perfect. Um, you pull it out of your pocket and people go, oh, when you open the blade, it also does great work. I really like it. This is the uh, small Sabenza with the latter Damascus. Um, Chris Reeve has a series of these, and I'll tell you, every single day I'm on the internet and I look at these knives, I'm, I really want to buy <laughs> every single one of them. Very nice knife. Wonderful carry. Again, for the medium carry, you want to do some work. Chokwe is great um, work knife. Uh, obviously, the Sabenza is a wonderful work knife, but you can also pull it out as a, a nice gentleman's folder. And then again, I always, always have a keychain knife. And this is a really nice one. It's the etched spin, Spyderco spin. Spyderco really does well with small knives. Not only just small knives, but these little keychain knives. This has a liner lock. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, take that back. <laughs> a frame lock is what I meant. It has this wonderful frame lock in the back. Uh, did you hear a click? Wonderful clicking. Um, I have these fat hands, jumbo fingers. I can open it one-handed. This is the definition of a keychain knife. It has that pizza, <laughs> that pizza kind of shaped blade. Um, it is really nice. Put it on your keychain, makes for a wonderful uh, ornament on the keychain and you can pull it out and do all the things that a keychain with a strong, a small, super small, tiny knife with a wonderful lock can do for you. That is the Spyderco Spin as my keychain knife. It's the etched one. They have a whole bunch of different handles. Um, obviously, the stainless, they have the Nescision. Um, and man, I even saw, I thought I saw a carbon fiber uh, one that made me drool. But anyway, there's the spin, the etch spin. That is my dump for today. But of course, you're watching YouTube. And on YouTube, we always have the one that got away. Ah, the Manundi. What? Manundi stands for in Zulu. Very nice. And that is a very nice Chris Reeve Manundi. Look at that. Ah, oh, so wonderful. I really love this knife. The only thing that kept it out of my pocket today was this Sabenza 21, a small Sabenza 21 with Damascus. This one has the uh, basket weave Damascus blade. It has the snake wood on it. I, I actually, look at that spine. Ugh, is that beautiful or what? Um, man. It's a wonderful knife. <laughs> Listen, I actually stood here. I had a couple of knives out while I drank my coffee this morning. And uh, I just looked at this knife and just really went crazy over it. Um, that is Chris Reed Manunde. Look at me. I don't want to put it down even now. Uh, I just love the clip. It's a perfect carry. It really is a perfect carry. It comes with the Chris Reed uh, leather sheath, but I don't use it. Uh, it. It goes into a nice watch pocket. It is just a wonderful knife, but I'm not carrying it today. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. I've got that Chris Reeve small Sabenza. 
with the Damascus blade. Hey, you guys, that's it. That's the pocket dump deconstruction. You can tune here to Keith Kevin Ken on YouTube every single day. Yeah, I don't know about every single day. It depends on the upload speeds, but most days you can get the deconstruction um, here on this channel. So please thumbs it up. Tell me you like what you see. Don't forget to subscribe. That way it'll always be in front of you whenever I post something. I not only do deconstructions, I do a lot of small mini collections of my knives, anywhere from five, six to 20 small collections of knives from a lot of different makers. So subscribe, please. I'm new to YouTube, trying to build up an audience. Uh, for these great knives so that we can play with them. Also, if you'd like to see the pocket dumps every single day, and it includes most of the time about three knives, not only can you uh, subscribe and get it on YouTube, but of course, follow me on Instagram at Keith Kevin Ken, and you can see all of my posts early in the morning. I always post the pocket dump. Hey, you guys, thank you very much for giving me your most valuable of all assets and that's your time. I appreciate it. Have a perfect day. Keep those pockets full. Bye now.